It looked good today, didn't it? That was a hearty meal out there. That mm -hmm. chicken, those Brussels sprouts looked great. I'm with you. Certainly warm for a day like today that's been dreary, and that's been the theme for us this entire week. Damp, dreary, very heavy rain to start the week. We still have some passing showers, but the shower chances will dwindle after sunset. May see a few showers tomorrow. River levels are dropping thanks to the drier weather and the anticipated drier weather as we go through the next few days. It is going to be dry for most of the weekend, but it is going to remain windy. But temperatures will be a little bit warmer for our Saturday and also for our Sunday. Taking a live look out there at Harrisburg and we're overlooking City Island at FNB Field as the Senators will have their first pitch in just a matter of minutes. Certainly does not feel like spring out there. It's 46 right now in Harrisburg, feeling like it's 40 with the winds gusting to 26 miles per hour northwest. It's going to be hard to hit the ball out of the park. Here's a look at live local 8 radar. You can see shower right along the western shore. Very light in intensity over towards Lewistown Port Royal. May see some flakes or some sleep pellets trying to mix in with these rain showers at times, but they are weakening as we are getting closer to sunset, and that trend will continue through the night tonight. This is a pesky and persistent upper level disturbance that's been with us for about 24 hours now. It's slowly going to work its way to the east and we'll start to see our weather slowly improve for the day tomorrow. So for this evening, isolated rain showers with some snowflakes trying to mix in northwest of Harrisburg. Everybody's going to feel those brisk conditions and it will be chilly with temperatures dropping into the lower 40s as we get closer to sunset. Lows tonight will be primarily in the upper 30s as the winds stay brisk and then for the day tomorrow, a little more sunshine, a little more warmth and a little more wind. Those winds out of the northwest up to 25 miles per hour. Just a slim chance of an isolated shower. We do have one remaining river flood warning in effect, and that's for the Swatera upwards of Middletown towards the mouth of the creek, and that's in effect until Sunday morning, but that is it. Here's a look at the winds anywhere from 5 to about 15 miles per hour, with the exception of Chambersburg right now at 21 miles per hour, making these chilly temperatures feel even cooler. Right now it's 47 in Carlisle, the same in Lancaster and 46 currently in Harrisburg. Temperatures in the 30s up towards Bradford in Erie, and that's where the winds are coming down from. So that upper level disturbance that's been plaguing our weather for the past 24 hours will still control our weather through the night tonight, but most of us will dry out. Going into Saturday, just isolated spotty rain showers. Most likely time to see those will be during the early afternoon and early evening hours. Once the sun goes down, a lot of the cloud cover will start to dissipate. Then we see more sunshine for our Sunday. Temperatures will be a little bit milder as we top off in the mid 50s. Keeping you updated on the great eclipse cloud cover forecast. It looks like it is going to be fairly gloomy off to our southwest over Texas and into Arkansas. Maybe slightly better viewing conditions on the northern tier of totality in parts of Indiana and Ohio. Unfortunately, partly to mostly cloudy skies expected towards Erie and Buffalo. The best place as of right now to see the eclipse head northeast into New England and parts of Vermont into New Hampshire and Maine. That's usually flip flop. It's usually across the south this time of the year. We see more sunshine compared to the northeast, but notice the dry stretch of weather that starts on Sunday and we're staying dry through Tuesday with temperatures rising into the lower 70s. Shower chances rise again on Wednesday. The best chance for rain during the next 10 days will be late Wednesday to Thursday and some of that rain may linger into the following Friday.